people that seem to think that if they're an atheist, it makes them more of an independent thinker. That if they're gay, it makes them more of an independent thinker. That if they're transgender, that it makes them more of an independent thinker. That if they're some sort of minority, it makes them more of an independent thinker. That if they fit into this particular group, that it, that it makes them more of an independent thinker. This is false. Someone being intelligent doesn't even make someone an independent thinker. Just because you may be smarter than a lot of people doesn't mean you're an independent thinker. You have to be an independent thinker to be an independent thinker. You have to be willing to take a lot of ridicule to be an independent thinker. You have to be willing to go against society to be an independent thinker. You have to be willing to stand out in a crowd to be an independent thinker. Doesn't matter what crowd it is. Doesn't matter what group it is. You have to be willing to be ridiculed, to be made fun of. And the thing is, no matter what you do, you're going to be ridiculed, even if you do your best to conform to a groupthink, to society. You're still going to get ridiculed. So it doesn't make any sense to me why people would focus so much on trying to fit into a particular group or society. After making that last video, I realized I'm proud to be an independent thinker. I'm proud to be who I am. I'm glad to be who I am. I'm glad I don't conform to society. Because what good does it do you? If you're spending so much time conforming to society, how do you really know who you are? How do you make comparisons? How do you draw conclusions about yourself? How do you categorize things? You can try to attach labels to yourself, but when you start digging into that label, you'll usually find that it's wrong. If you think that the group that you fit into makes you an independent thinker, you've got a lot to learn. <laughs>